deal with my daughter. This is shock. All right, so Rebecca is gonna come on. Gonna announce. So who says hacker is just for adults? It's not okay. It's for all kids. Hands up, all of those of you who have young children. <laughs> how right. young is the? How young is Give me a mic. It's nine years old. No, we're fine. What Rebecca made is a little clock kit that we ordered from China. Okay. Do you want to go show the people that? Mm. Come on, Dad. Go show the people. Come on, Off you go, show the people. <laughs> go around and show the people, let them see. If you have young children and you're trying to get interested in electronics, one of the challenges is to find something that they like. <laughs> the other challenge is to find something at the right balance of complexity, so you start them with very simple kits, then move on to something like this. Now, any of you that care to take a look at the soldering can see the soldering is quite good quality. She did it herself. I didn't do it for her. I just corrected. <laughs> corrected one or two small problems and gave her guidance. So, her next project is in this little bag. It's a small oscilloscope. 200 kilohertz bandwidth, one mega sample per second. LCD display. She's moving up in the world. I got this so she could visualize waveforms easily because it's kind of hard to explain to a child what's actually going on with a transistor. You okay? So that's the clock. And where is she now? She's running around there. It's going to Okay, now I'll get on to the Arduinos while she's running around. Most of you will know the Arduino Uno. Quite a few of you may have already used it, but it's far from the only option in the world. And this one is not an Arduino. This board is based on the PIC chip and is designed to connect to your uh, mobile phone so you can use this to get similar I.O. as you would with an Arduino. And of course you add some sensors. We like real world things like sensing movement, pressure, or in this case one of the sensors is humidity, which I'm actually using in development work right now on high-end air conditioners. Power supplies. The one on the left is a 5 amp supply, so it's quite capable of running a reasonably large project. The one on the right is 2.5 amps, just enough to run the Raspberry Pi Model B and several sensors. And these I buy from China. Uh, I think it was about 80 cents each for the small regulator. Uh, that's the larger Arduino. This has basically just an expanded feature set, more I.O., more ADC channels. Of course, then we move on to the boards with the ARM processors. They are quite a step up. They are 3.3 volts, so you've got to be a little bit more careful with your I.O. But they're also very capable. They've been used for things like flight controllers on drones. And I've got one of them here in this kit, the STM32. Not an Arduino but you also can download the software and program this in the Arduino IDE. So it operates it almost identical to the Arduino series. For larger projects, this one has, as you can see the specs there, 84 megahertz processor clock, so it's very fast. 54 I.O. pins, all of which can be used for interrupt driven software control, so if you want to sense a switch coming on or turning off, something like that. This is perfect for it. It's also got 12-bit ADC a converter in there on 12 channels, so it's great for measuring potentiometer positions. And of course, if you want to get signals in and out, our friend Roland will love this stuff. 433 megahertz radio module. This is AT command set, simple serial interface. 
This one's 2.4 gigahertz, but it's SPI interface, so it's a little bit more difficult to set up. The nice thing is that software for most of these things is already available for Arduinos. There's also quite a bit available for this one for the Raspberry Pi. Okay, and I have to say thanks to my boss, Dave Weinstein, because he's the reason I have so many of these little toys. Okay, and that's my five minutes up. Thank you. All right, uh, I'm going to let Rebecca take the Rebecca, first round. Rebecca, do you have any last?